तुम्हारा नमस्कार दिस इज इंटरनेशनल मास्टर एंड फिडे सीनियर ट्रेनर शेखर साहू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ गुजरात एंड गुजरात स्टेट एसोसिएशन टू दिस इंटरमीडिएट ट्रेनिंग सेशन so in this session i will cover the remaining antecedent lines and if time permits i will start the how to play white side against sicilian dragon probably i will not get time because there are some six variations i have to cover after e4 c5 there are 1 2 3 i think 4 5 6 side lines a3 this is interesting preparing a wing gambit ne b3 this is also interesting then c3 this is one of the main line a bit main line sicilian alapine want a full center so a3 b3 c3 then other line which i did not cover is uh, the line which i did not cover is uh, knight f3 and uh, knight c6 bishop d5 i will not cover d6 because i want to plan to show you classical in this move order you can play on d6 but this gives two extra variations d4 cd queen d4 then c3 so i will cover knight f3 knight c6 bb5 or even after knight c6 c3 so This is these are the diagrams I will cover. One more diagram, one more diagram. I think I think I left. This is the other diagram. E4 C5. Knight A3. Knight A3. After uh, Fischer played with Spassky in the second match, 1992. Not good. the idea is to play c3 knight c2 and d4 or knight a c4 and a4 so i will cover in this 1 2 3 4 5 6 diagrams six times six variations and among them frequently played lines are c3 this is very normal and bb5 this is very normal lines i mean majority people play prefer this because here you are ready to castle quickly and this makes a sense immediately i want to occupy the center all right let's go now to the particular variations the evening session i will uh, cover i will start the sicilian dragon i don't know it may take two sessions or one session but you will find it very interesting because it will be full of action to start with let me start first uh, b3 line hello devers virabhadra paschal parik and clara alanso i will tell you the main strategic point just a minute please terrible so the main strategic point is white is waiting to exchange the bishop for red bishop or knight for example if you play d6 bishop check no you will play bishop check idea if you exchange then put all the pawns in white squares or you come knight here he will take it and then play d3 s3 and 
put all the pawns in white square. This is one of the idea, the b3. And also waiting to play bb2 and take the opponent of the theoretical path. <coughs> Black can play on equal terms, same way. But this is playing, waiting to equalize. Black is just waiting. Instead, I recommend here to, no, no, I will recommend here. Yeah, bb5 check. If I check, bishop d7. Taking, taking will help development. Suppose you take, you are helping black develop. Now, black is giving a threat also. To take the pawn. After knight f3, he will come queen quickly. So, here, suppose you play bb2 and this 6 that is why one should not take. In normal bb5 check, one tempo will be there. So, this variation, queen g4 is bad. But here, this is possible. So, that is why he will replace c4. Now, white is having a better structure. And, no, no, black. Black is having a better structure. Goes for initiate. Taking is bad, so now he is threatening to take the pawn. So the moment is there is some compensation. Suppose you take the pawn, he will take, and you take, there is some compensation. Rook will come. Now g6 is bad because bishop to b3 2. So there is some compensation. You have to go back. In this case, I mean play bishop and now e6, now d4, he has compensation, development, advantage and space. So, black reference from accepting the offer and continues to develop quickly. I think the position is already equal, but a file is open. Now, wants to ensure the bishop is not having activity. Very important point, please note. Very important point. And if you play in advance, this is not a good idea. Because there is a danger that knight g4 will win material. This pawn is in danger now. Because the bishop is unprotected, another knight is coming, so it will have a problem. That is why if I cannot come, so he comes queen e2, but then now the bishop is not having any activity. So the position black is now comfortable. Very well played. Now black is looking for advantage. The e5 point is three times guarded. After you capture the pawn, there is no problem on e5 pawn. This is knight, rook, and bishop guarding. So there is no problem about it. So he cannot grab that. Still accepting it, he will lose a piece. So I will leave this because opening black is successful. So this is a good idea. Somebody plays uh, b3, b3. I recommend, I recommend to play b6 and check bishop. Now you taking, you take bishop, take bishop is no problem. I told you, so take and b6 uh, is good. One more game I will show on b3. <coughs> You can also play knight d7 instead of uh, bishop challenging bishop. This is also a modern game. So, it 
is also there. Black is looking for coincide initiative with the plan to play FI approach. Black has bishop pair now and for looking forward to counter attack. So white attack is not coming at all on the king side. White has to complete development, bring the queen, and there is not many pieces left for him because the missing the whites were missing. So it is not easy for white to launch an attack on the black king. In the meanwhile, the black queen side expansion will start. Plus. Oh, see, well, this is this is bad for the bad. This is bad. Now knight into pawn and uh, bishop into bishop. Knight into knight is there. Tactical flaw is there. So we lose a pawn and a bad position. So practically forced. So two bishop and now f five center. This is very good. And <clears throat> there is tension over here also. And f five. So I think black has sufficient counterplay. Now rook a, rook a, rook a2 will come, the position, and he will wants to play an endgame with queen d8. So I will leave b3, it gives hardly any problem. And also, you know, there is a pressure that here, even this is also possible. b4, c5, b3. Now b3 you can play b6. Now bb2, bb7. Now nc3, nc6. Hardly anything he can plan. So this is also equal, in my opinion, this also leads to equality. Okay, but I recommend to play more flexible d6 and the check is harmless and if you play uh, other moves, there is no problem. So b3 line I leave. Next I will go to other line, a3, knight a3. The second variation, knight a3. The main strategic point here, he wants to play c3 and c2 d4, one of the idea. Now, if you are playing direct c3, I have I told that I will discuss with this. But this idea is to play nc2, but it is time consuming. Strategically, it's okay, nothing wrong. But it is time consuming and knight on c2 will be poorly placed. So this is two knight moves and knight again has to regroup. It's not a great idea. But it is just playable. I don't say development is good but not towards center. That means he has to lose two moves to bring it into center. <coughs> One second. This is the best. Now, b3 is bad because of bishop to b2. You are gaining a tempo. So, d3. If, if all these things, this is a close Sicilian position, it, would, it was desirable knight is here. This is a position, a close Sicilian pawn structure. So, it is better knight come to center instead of now knight coming to c4, then b5 may come also. So this is a defect of the setup. Notice still he cannot play b3, bb2. White is ready to expand. After b5, he will be very poorly placed. Anyway, very well. Round about 4 5 night moves, and you are back to c3. So, again, so this is exactly a position from close Sicilian, but compare how many tempos 
black has got if you if you check the regular line of flow sicilian some three tempos down white so not desirable i leave this and if you play e4 c5 knight a knight a3 this is the line I think I uh, here. E4, C5, Knight A3. Now let us say you play C3. Now, <coughs> among other things, I can play D5. Now take, take. Now D4. It will be a mere transposition to all of them. Transposition to all of them. Now Knight F3. Knight Knight F3. Who is this? E4. Now Knight uh, Knight C6. Knight f3, knight f3, and now knight f6, and now if you play b3, I'm going to take it. Or maybe, maybe here also, I think I must show the perfect move order. d5, d4, now take, take, and now you come back. The reason is, he is going to get a tempo knight attacking here and then bishop will come a tempo on the square so it is better to come back quickly i think this is good can i play knight knight f6 also knight f6 also is possible knight f6 now knight b5 queen come back and if bishop comes here i think i have time this is annoying. So I would rather go to this variation uh, c3 d5 take and d4 take and then come back quickly. This is quite safe, no problem. Okay, so here in the line g3 bg7, this is no problem. We serve here good position for black. I go to the other main lines, other side variations like. Uh, a3. This deserves attention because A3 he is preparing to play like a Benko gambit and hit the center. Sorry, wing gambit and hit the center. So, some three four games I will show you on the sideline. <coughs> Sassi Kiran. Sassi Kiran is black. Hello, Manish Radia, Swam Das, Kevul Krishnav Saha, Ramakrishna, Raghav Gar. Yes, Raghav Gar. Not 300 actually, it is 400 because some of my Facebook uh, lectures for Gujarat State Association, it is uh, not displayed. I have saved it anyway. It is 400 crossed. Thank you, Raghogar. So here, A3, it is not bad because many strong players also play. The whole idea is to transpose like a wing gambit. And main center. White wants to give the pawn and occupy the center. So I recommend to play G6. So immediate B4, he will run to Bishop to G7. Bishop G7. You are having problem here. So this is not a desirable. So here d4 takes a quintex pawn. Quintex pawn is not great on account of on account of knight. I will, I can also play this with the idea now bishop here, bishop here, and knight coming to this point and castle. This is one plan. The second plan I can play knight f6. Knight f6 without fear of e5. Right. Now queen here means I have got knight. It should be okay. Now knight can come back safely. So queen takes one is not a serious issue here because the move a3 has been rested. So here, if knight into pawn, we will we will walk into accelerated Sicilian with one bad move for white. This is just bad. A3, a waste of time. So, he goes for C3. 
now the point is black is not completed development so accepting i would not do accept like a mora gambit because in mora gambit we have to play e6 a6 lot of black squares will be weak on the queen side so i don't like to accept the gambit so here it is sasi kiran's move is correct this is the problem you know if you take it sorry you can play this also in fact because not allowing pawn structure but suppose you accept the gambit knight into pawn and now knight c6 there is good compensation now knight a5 bishop is useful here and now <clears throat> you play e6 then this is the problem square even immediate knight b5 can come so we should not accept uh, like mora gambit now should not take that so it is better let him west move he has made too many pawn moves so d5 if e5 is played if e5 is played now now i think i can accept because i don't have a backward pawn i can accept this so you have to play here take black black is better and if you take a pawn into pawn it will transpose to one variation of karo pano attack so here castle followed by knight will come and the pawn is lost and this is a weak pawn white will be left with the weakness so not not desirable and the bishop is also having not a good square he has to waste time he has wasted time already with a3 and now bishop bishop also has to waste time that is why here uh, he, it is not desirable he should play queen into pawn now defending the pawn is bad this is bad because of a6 a6 so there is a problem and also you are running knight into pawn that is why he has to giving the idea at least you give a weakness to opponent nicely entered excellent move covering the pawn black is not worried about the pawn now white is under developed white is under developed so black wants to grab the initiative the modern chess and the olden chess olden days chess there is a difference ever since fisher entered the scene fisher wanted to win each and every game so at any given opportunity he used to grab the initiative with black or white doesn't matter so he forced the all grandmasters master of his time to play on equal terms the he forced them to work hard on opening area and grabbing the initiative in middle game so everything has changed now if you will see if you see fisher gary kasparov and who else uh, contemporary player especially these two world champions had tremendous advantage of opening theory they knew at least uh, 20 years ahead of their time what fisher knew in 1972 players came to know in around 1990 so much of advancement he had similarly kasparov in 1985 he became world champion so till 2000 the players could not match his opening preparation but then the younger grandmaster worked hard and they tried to match his opening knowledge so now the difference in modern grandmaster and old, old grandmaster claim that the grab initiate to given time so here now normal player will play to push the pawn but it is not getting good game he is not getting a good game after this move he, he will come queen because i don't want some knight move coming so move the queen and then now slowly he will try to play bishop exchange and want to capitalize on this square so modern grand will play immediately run 
now tempo so only if you go night here it is bad i will take it i will take it and give him a bad position the rook will come so very bad structure only <clears throat> now uh, white is at a cross road how are you going to handle how many knight moves he has to waste problem bishop cannot develop you cannot uh, leave the pawn you cannot play b3 you can't play c4 also is bad because the pressure on b2 will come so here neither white can play b3 nor he can play bishop development nor he can play c4 if c4 knight b6 once again b2 so only move now black has bishop pair and both bishops are ideal ideal on the queen side and the square is also weak and notice the double pawns are there but who will attack the knight is far away so it is i would say clear advantage for black it is not the not not the i mean any attack or so but uncomfortable pitch structure and pawn position not allowing him to develop rb1 is also tactically bad plus so it is an interesting game please note that here a3 i have kept more games a3 i would like to say that we should continue g6 is very good here good no is uh, i think yeah this is also line here one of the idea of a3 that normally the bishop goes to b3 in sicilian sozin but here bishop can save so here he can go who is this uh, white is actually 2482 so i think is a grand master black is uh, is a very strong gm atra safrali black center is fine want to play knight e7 and d5 the point is after you play this knight into or knight bishop into then this is the grip on d4 will be strong and the king will go eventually suppose you take he will take pawn in now the d4 d4 square 1 2 3 4 so he cannot get a break and the king will come to f8 g7 this is okay there is no break coming i will play first knight f6 watching the square and then king will come to g7 very strong position so he should not take that good knight on knight is not good knight and bishop also not good so you get nothing in all this a3 line one more opening stage only i will go not much next game is magnus kal magnus kalson is black and is some somebody uh, maybe it is long back 2006 okay so a sort of dragon setup where the a3 c3 becomes absolutely bakwas stupid very smoothly black is developing no if i break nothing now again you go like this is all bad is bad so magnus carlsen setup also is very good against a3 i recommend this simple system whether you play g6 whether you play uh, c3 whatever you do Good. This is also a good setup. Okay, you can play here 
d5 also you can play d6 knight c6 also <laughs> why allow the pawn why allow a good central setup so a good idea by magnus it is seen this idea in mora gambit good boys you can't still break the pawn is bishop is queen is watching the bishop so you can't play e5 black pieces are very nice so one more game in this series and and i will go to the main ala pawn e4 c5 a3 now if you take it now there is some compensation factor will come he will get an open file and b5 so Knight e seven and castle. Basically, normally such lines, black is ad adopting as he plays against close c four. Black is adopting a setup, normally same what he does in close Sicilian. But white pieces and pawns are funnily placed. For example, in close Sicilian, you don't be a three, b four, rook b one. Now king side is not developed yet. C D three you can't play. When I play D five, you can't play D three. Once you release pressure, this is bad. This rook B one, A three, B four. This becomes waste. Better backward C C two. White has a backward pawn in the open half open file, and also space. This can come. I feel black is clearly better already. Yes, sir. Excellent move. You can't play rook c2. Then there is more problem will come. Okay, rook c2. If you play d5, break will come. If you play rook c2, d5 break because this is problem. Okay, and pawn into knight into knight into knight bishop into. So this is a problem. You you can't play rook c2. Two rooks against this. So you have to play f4. Now this is called shifting initiative to the other side. Now I am uh, from queen side suddenly because the situation has changed. So black shifting to other front now. This is bad. Already is a uh, pawn down. And also so inferior king position, h2 pawn. What is this? This is bad. So I leave the a3 line. That means we have covered these three variations. Now we have covered these three variations. e4 c5. Now a3 we cover. d3 we cover. Knight a3 we cover. So we are left with a. C3 is one of the main line I will discuss, and we sub B minus three and B B five. That's all. Is there any more line left? I think I guess so. That's all. One more line, I think. I think one more variation. No, this is all over. So I have already covered this. I have already. So let me take you to now. Sicilian C three. Okay, I will tell you uh, who has asked this. Raghav girl, E four C five C C four is a bad move. 
this is bad okay i have over written sorry did i over write it okay here import c5 this is bad the main idea i must tell you what is the main idea of the move that white wants to play maruti bai white wants to play maruti bai white next wants to play knight f3 suppose you play knight knight c6 knight f3 and now next move d4 and he will take and he has a maruti bai position this is his idea this position is okay but i will tell you the perfect move order for black after the move don't play this move play d6 now d4 is bad i will take and a tempo now i will take take and a tempo is coming that means he has to play knight f6 knight f3 with the idea next move d4 i will play bishop not allowing him d4 immediately the and if he plays now b2 knight c6 still d4 is not possible and if he plays h3 i will take i will take now why black is good grip on center black has a strong grip d4 is not possible he has to lose time with the queen so e4 c5 c4 is strongly met by d6 so that the idea i am ready ready with this move after knight f3 when you play knight f3 i will pin the knight no d4 yara mehta mukund agarwal all welcome mora gambit is refused no mora gambit is i told already in my yesterday's class mora gambit is no problem no problem for black so here in knight f3 i will play bishop here and no d4 that is why c4 is having no no effect on the position and you are blocking your own bishop you will not get maruti bind also so what is the use of the idea i will play d6 then okay what are you going to do you you cannot waste a move like h3 and count on an advantage i will play knight c6 now knight here i will play g6 now d4 take take and now moraga accelerated dragon you have made a pawn move which is just bad now bishop coming here you, i think there there will be a problem now knight f6 knight c3 maybe here one time one rest move i guess castle first it should be good now b2 maybe you can play maybe you can play here the knight into knight now knight comes quickly this side now exchanging this is bad and if you come later on the f5 break will come suppose you take this is good because i have a square here for my knight no bishop no attack coming easily so this becomes a waste of time c4 d6 is the correct move and uh, i showed you mora gambit yesterday i don't want to repeat all that again now i will go for the third variation fourth variation rather c4 c5 c3 e4 c5 c3 this is respectable line i would say many strong players play this also the one of the idea want to exploit the isolated queen pawn position already we have discussed iqp but uh, in in those iqp positions the knight comes fast then 
we sub develops here it is no development so you have two plan basically you can come knight f6 and after e5 knight d5 like somewhat elegant defense this is okay for plan d4 you can you can play d6 also here or you can ignore you can you can also play here pawn into pawn knight f3 there is no hurry black cannot take knight f3 now e6 pawn into pawn now d6 knight c now it's of c4 if you play i get a tempo this is okay so what is he going to do now we have to where you will play now maybe we should see for only what else because b2 looks very passive to me so this position should be no problem this position should be no problem let us say you play b sub to c4 now maybe i will play here uh b sub to d7 as well sub to c6 now if you play knight there c3 i will take take then i play and d7 my threat is to take the pawn and you cannot take it with the knight now suppose you play normal move i will take pawn into now this is not a good position because this is very nice position for black and if you play knight into i will take knight into knight and rook into knight sorry rook into knight and then there is a tempo i doubt i doubt white has got any advantage now already there is c3 weakness already a rook will come later on targeting the weakness so this is okay no problem and there is also another line that if you are if you are a french player if black also plays french he can also play here e6 idea to meet d4 with d5 and it will become a french advance variation it will become uh, french advance variation cross position but you have to become a, you have to be a french player without knowing this you should not enter this is very uh, not dangerous at all still you should know french I, my recommendation to you is to play d5 you have to take it now it will not be french the bishop is open i am not going to play now e6 i will not play e6 i will play knight now knight f3 it is not a french position next is very good for black so he has to take the pawn to take the advantage is the queen in the center cannot be attacked by a knight so d4 now opening theory gives many variations but i recommend the safest line easiest line and safest line the main isolated queen pawn the pawn will advance now we will have to take the pawn some time or other and this pawn will advance so we should take e6 controlling the d5 right away controlling the pawn is controlling the square right away very important move for example there is a difference suppose you play knight f6 knight then you play knight you will play some bits of move now you play this here uh, there is a here e6 castle now be sir he can play c4 now queen here you will run into some some discover attack all the time the bishop is watching immediately he, he cannot harass you but constantly you have to watch for tactics and i think some repetition in some areas repetition for example if you attack then your queen g6 knight will come attack and that means on c4 you have to go back but where now if you go here this is bad you will have queen side majority these are the problems you are facing 
Now, so instead of doing all this, I say right away you play e6. No, right away here you play e6. e6. The point is now I will play bishop and castle quickly. I will postpone the knight move. I will postpone. Now bishop e2. Here I will play bishop e7, castle, castle. Now if you play c4, you can play queen d7. A good move. I guess uh, I guess it is Oleg Romaninsin. Queen d7. Or Elvest, I think. Oleg Romaninsin. The point is, you cannot advance and you can't play knight e5. You may ask me why queen, d, why not queen d8? But I want to gain a tempo. If you queen here, I have not got any development. Here, I am having the plan also and also pressure here. This is the advantage of playing early e6 and castle. Okay. So, I recommend this simple, simple setup d5 take and next e6. No d5 control for white. Tanmay Azvera. Okay. Okay, Birabhadra. So here. Now he is giving a threat to take a pawn. Queen exchange and extra pawn he will maintain. So we take. Now knight. Queen. Of course you can go back all the way. But uh, at the moment he can he is uh, he will go back and no d5 control. I can go back and no control of d5. If he plays now you have to worry about the check now. Check. No d5. All the time, the d5 square must be controlled. When there is an IQP, your square in front of the pawn is important. So, here. Already, the pressure is mounting. Still d5. Now, the whole point is, you will idea, I want to place the bishop here, then rooks will be coordinated and also uh, no interference. Very well played. Please note that Vladimir Chuchilo is a great coach now. I guess he worked with Magnus Carlsen also for some time. He is a grandmaster from Israel. And a good coach. So there is no sacrifice, no attack. This is the point. Now black pieces are ideally placed. There is no plan of attack easily available. And in some variations, when the bishop is here and the queen here, you come and sack, you know, when you play g6. The bishop is watching the point, watching the point indirectly. So you cannot sacrifice. Like suppose bishop is somewhere, you can play rook into pawn. After bishop to b1, queen c2, rook into pawn is not possible because the bishop is controlling g6. One of the point. Now here, in, imagine if the bishop was somewhere here, there could be some pressure will come, but nothing. The bishop is controlling. So, you get nothing. Just wondering from move here and there, why it is not getting any plan. It will, it will be a mistake to play and that gets life. So, gradually, every exchange, the player with IQP will have problem because endgame is coming near. If one is playing with isolated queen pawn, should avoid exchanging pieces. Whereas opponent will try to exchange pieces. D5 is not coming. The queen is well supported. I can exchange it. Better. 
now black has the two bishops advantage and the weakness cannot be deserved so i would say black is already better so a very good game by chuchilo castle okay this is a very good plan the problem is these are all bad instructive errors you should not do all these things there will be a problem of development and tactical problems will come so normally with the main problem is now blacks only one problem the development of which is badly placed so a player will normally will try to do in the long diagonal which is not working and d6 b5 also very slow so this is simple solution no problem still d5 is ruled out the ideal setup just like chuchilo has done and uh, there is no target I am ready to play g6 at any time. Blockade, solid blockade on d5. I think black has taken the initiative now. So this setup is very solid. You can, you are free to ask me any question. They were welcome. You are free to ask me any question in the variation. Yet another game of two kilo. See, I will tell you here. You can also play g six. Zero has played it. It is possible. But I am showing the safest line. G six. now please note a very important moment you must come back now must other moves will give you trouble because he is getting a tempo right away a tempo in this square and a tempo will come so the best move is come back queen no tricks now the knight has to come This e5. There is no other good. I now here. Even knight c4 also does not promise anything. Queen plays c6 and wait. So he plays not a good move. It is weak move. Black is playing very normal moves now. You still you d5 is not possible. The pressure has come. Rook d8. First of all, defend b2. The you know the other move is b3 is all we know. In fact, queen h5 will come. Everything is okay. Knight f4. I am ready. I am ready to play. So they discover having nothing. So he is threatening now. Some uh, knight move, knight move here, yeah, attacking the bishop, knight. All this stunt move will not be useful. There is uh, nothing he can achieve with this. Black is good. Good center. Next, I am going to complete development. You better defend the c3 point, and if you go, some b6 will come sometime. So, good position. C4 pawn hanging. It's a bad thing. Black is better. So, the whole this variation, you have no problem after the regular line e6. This is uh, 
interesting game by Jan Elvest. He's a very strong grandmaster, very good in opening also. So he is inviting him to play French advance. French advance is nothing. But anyway, you, I told you the only problem, you have to be a French player to play this board. So it transposed. Basically transposed. Queen d8. Please note, the moment knight comes, don't allow all tempos. Immediately comes. Yeah, one second, please. One second. So here, no problem. The queen must come back here. When I take this such a structure, I advise go oh, all tactical traps are there. It's no threat. Now the, the advantage is I have not taken. So the knight is redundant. One of the knight. The knight has to be redundant. So IQP. And now there is no problem, no tactics. Excellent position. Whenever there is IQP, the square in front of that IQP is a target. Black has more control, so black is little better. Every exchange is welcome. Excellent. Into F3. He will hit here and give him very bad structure. Now idea ND3. Idea, now ND3 is coming. So, just pushing away. Next move, if you keep moving, then rook c8 and knight c2, rook c4. Post. Now the position, black is little better. Black has to clear back rank at 6 and then start expanding the queen that falls. So a superior player will win. The game is, I would say, small advantage for black. Who is the best rapid player or best on intuition? If you ask me in chess history, if you ask me the entire chess history, it is Leonard Stein who died early. At the age of 38, he died. Leonard Stein of Russia. Then I would say the second best is Vishwanathan Anand. Best on instinct and also very rapid and quick. So, Leonard Stein, but Stein had a very small time career. His career was not long. So, if you put together, I think Anand. Anand is the fastest player and uh, of course, when you see at his prime, even now he is maintaining in top 10 around like that. And he won the Rapid and Blitz maybe a year back. He won the World Rapid and World Blitz. So, I would say Vishwanathan Anand is best. Tal would be given rank if you ask. Tal, you know, he is a great master of sacrifices. Tal, he is not really rapid player because Tal used to think also long time in some sacrifices. So, he was not a, a fast, very fast player. He was a terrific bliss player. He was absolutely terrific bliss player, but his style of thinking was not to make instantly. Whereas when you see in major, major course of Anand's career, when he was in his prime, he was playing very fast. Fastest ever player, I would say. Who 
Okay. This is ideal. The most ideal way that black should play quickly castle. Seven pool castle. Now the bishop is not at e2. When bishop is at e2, it is a bad move. If the bishop was on e2, here I will play queen d7. Imagine now I have a black has to play. Now I will prefer to play queen to d7. So, but now why I should go? I will go as there is no pin. There is no pin here. So, black is good. Double attack. F4 and D3. So, only move. Otherwise, you lose a piece. The only move. Only move. Now the whole point, the center is blown out. Very fun, uh, great move, great move by. Okay, okay, you can take this also. You can take it also. It will. This will give problem. So you can't move the knight. No F3 possible. And uh, you have to come look here. And it is bad. The position is bad. It will be a bad position. So, a very fine move. Taking advantage. B5. Good move. Black better. Now, bishop is superior than the knight. And, uh, so I feel black position is superior in here. So, what I recommend here. आपको बस जल्दी कैसल कर लेना है। Take take then e6, knight f6, b7 and castle. White will not get any advantage. Trust me, everything is fine for black here. I think Sicilian c3 हो गया है। Any other interesting game? Maybe this game is good. This is a good game by Dorfman, a great coach. And that too, a player, Sashniko played all his life only one, Sicilian means C3. The, the, his idea was to play like a French advance. Sashniko had a very fixed report time. Sicilian means Sashniko Sicilian, Pelican. And E4, C5, C3. E4, E6, French advance. So his reporter was fixed. So he was a specialist of C3. I recommend you to play bishop and castle. I recommend this and castle quickly. Anyway, now queen must run. I think this this is a, not a good move. He is not getting anything tactically. Why you must waste time? Star knight move karke kya? What he has achieved? Losing a pawn. If you take with the if you take with the queen e5 pawn knight is lost. And if you take with queen into e5. This is not helping. Knight will support. So a tactical sort. Bishop into pawn. And this is also bad, wasting time and bad. So it is lost only here at time. But anyway, this is an interesting game. But I would like you to play this straight move here. Instead of this move, seventh move here. I don't want this. You play this up. Now you castle, castle. And this is a very easy game. Okay. So I leave this. But the tactics was interesting. Aska to chess. Russia ka time. 
बुरा चल रहा है अभी आई विल टेल यू जितना भी स्ट्रॉन्ग जीएम्स है सब रशिया का ही है अमेरिका इज नाउ फंटास्टिक यूएस से बट एट्टी परसेंट आर रशियन प्लस एट्टी परसेंट आर रशियन प्लस इज़राइल वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग चेस कंट्री बट एट्टी परसेंट आर नाइनटी रेदर हंड्रेड परसेंट रेदर हंड्रेड परसेंट आर रशियन प्लेयर्स तो इज़राइल का सारे प्लेयर रशिया है इफ यू सी दट अमेरिका ऑल रशियन प्लेयर्स there are russian coaches have spread out all over the world so i don't say you know all chess countries hungary very strong chess country there are soviet union ka cuba soviet union ka yugoslavia all communist countries poland zek so all strong chess countries are russian speaking countries communist countries Wherever communist went, they left chess. जहाँ जहाँ communist का राज हुआ, वहाँ chess का domination. और जहाँ जहाँ British राज हुआ, वहाँ cricket. Only they could not influence America. Where baseball was there instead of cricket. नहीं तो New Zealand बोलो cricket, uh, Zimbabwe cricket, India, Ceylon, everywhere. जहाँ पर British राज था, South Africa. So cricket, cricket, cricket. Wherever communist went, they went chess. So, okay, at the moment, but all strong players are spread out all over world, all from Russia. The best players and best coaches. So, abhi Russia me bhi strong hai, abhi bhi bo strong hai. Karyakin is strong, Napemanya ji is strong. There is a very strong group of players, Russian players, Alexey or Zagi. There is very strong young players are coming. Alex Singh or whatever, so I don't say they are weak. They are coming, growing. What is that? Vladimir or Artemir is very strong. What is his name? Or uh, Andrei Andrei Kin is very strong. So they are not lacking. The advantage of Russian chess, every layer at the age group of twelve, fourteen, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, any age group. There are a strong group of players, which is not in other countries. Not in other countries. Now India is becoming strong country because ever since this age group competition came, the boy or girl starting early, he gets attention of coaches, and you get success. You get support from the federation and government. So Indian government has done great job. Giving support, sending age group team. I told the other day, eighty-six teams were there, eighty-six representation. Age group forty, then men, women, zonal, interzonal, some uh, Asian, some Asian team, all around eighty, eighty-six. So chess is having a big boom in India. China, India has crossed over China because. China has got a group of twenty, thirty, forty strong players. But if you see Indian lineup, if suppose you make today five hundred India, five hundred China, India will just overpower. Them. Suppose you make top twenty, twenty also India is good, not bad, but top ten China is superior. So India and China are coming up fast, but Russian domination directly or indirectly it is there. सो so, ये हो गया नोवी को वन मोर गेम आई से आइगोर नोवी को वेरी सॉलिड प्लेयर नाइट ऑफ सिक्स बी सेवन एंड कैसल टेक टेक एंड कैसल नो प्रॉब्लम नाइट डी पे यू गो इफ यू गो हियर नाइट इनटू नाइट एंड बी फाइव इज अ गुड गेम This is good. Knight into knight, and b5. This position is bad because we saw now knight will now now knight will come. 
and then bishop will come black is good d5 the c3 weakness so black is very good here that is why he has to take it down queen and two will gain a tempo a tempo will come so forced but anyway this position is good for black because a file open and you can't play d5 next move knight a5 come good i would say black stands better so this is also a good line and they are on instructive very instructive okay i leave one more game then i leave ala pai <coughs> Maybe black is solving the problem of last minor piece. this is rather a discussion of iqp rather it is a discussion of iqp you have to ensure black must this does not come with some threats then he will be dangerous that's all abhi bhi nahi aa raha teen hai mera now he is giving a kind of threat. Okay, where is where is he going to go now? Now, now I am putting watching this point. This point is being watched by me. My simple threat is knight a five. My simple threat is knight a five. So, and bishop g three is no problem. Queen g four is there. No problem. Supported, all supported. Black on top. You return the exchange better, otherwise you will in trouble. Excellent question. कुछ नहीं होगा. There is only a there is only a check. Check, check. Now, if you give checks, you'll run away. Idea made threat. Suppose you give check king and you give a check king. There is nothing. Absolutely, f3 under attack. Queen under attack. So first cut off. Idea made threat. Check made threat. Enough. Excellent defense. Now the knight will bishop is watching and the queen is. Uh, Got inside. It is in box. Bad position. Of course, all this needs calculation. All this needs calculation. So, one more game on uh, the Sicilian C3. Last on this same setup. Castle. Want to exchange pieces? IQP. So every exchange, black will be happy. So there is no attack, nothing. C file. I am going to now take over. The pawn is small little blocker. The d5 knight is rock. Its end game is bad. What else you will do? Bad. End. Excellent position. So I I leave the Sicilian c3. It is not giving any problem to you because you just go for this setup. You go. 
here i would say don't take this also play this and castle i will go to next the only line left is this the reason i told you that here i am showing in this move this move order i want to go suggest you uh, classical now d4 cd and d4 knight f6 knight c3 this diagram but the problem is when you play in d6 move order d4 cd i have to explain again this this one then i have to also see c3 this is again there are two three variations which are i have to add i have to also give this check anyway so i thought that in this move order the only bb5 is obstacle okay so i will discuss this bb5 line one second give me a minute please i will be right back hello parth kuntal rawal and kian sa and ruhani asudani i will be right back so there is only one variation and then i can discuss some middle game ideas maybe because in the afternoon session i will start dragon various moves are here you can also play d6 this is also possible not a problem but you will walk into that queen d4 variation after this d6 now you will walk into queen d4 right this is why i i play now and there are other line here also e6 but here it is uh, slow and i want to go strategically more correct E six. This is more aggressive. The reason is that I want to cut down after the pawn into pawn. Then d four comes, and queen d four. So I I don't I don't want these possibilities. Okay. So here he cut down the possibility pawn pawn into pawn.
I want to show you the setup, the games you see, but this is good enough. I want to play night coming and this is good. But anyway, you should also see two, three setup because some player may not like this. So I will show two, three setups, whichever you like. I can show knight f6, this is very slow and good. He wants to open the game, welcome. He wants to open, your double pawn will go away from the board. This is all b4. He want he is preparing for the b4 break. b4 break. Very well. Want to play some f4 at right time. Now you to take the pawn, it will take so much so much moves. You need three moves to go after the pawn. By that time, dark attack will come. So, if you are not doing anything, then check will come, or queen will knight will come. So all these things take time. You don't need. You need not worry about the pawn. Now, white black initiative is very strong. Already problem. The king side. Forced. Bad position. The king side. So a setup, this setup. Same setup only I am showing you. Same setup I am showing you next. That means now queen d2 and d2 is not possible. Enter is very good for black now. And notice this sort of moves are not good. Because you release pressure and black gets a free hand for queen card operation. Your knight is not ideally placed for attack. And now there is no weakness. The d3 point is good. The position for one move, you just don't compromise the entire strategy. It is very good for white now, no problem. That's why you should not push it right now. Black stands better because he has defended. He cannot push. The knight is away from the center. There is no third attack coming. And uh, this is there any, any moment. It does not need any further discussion. Okay, World champion and a one extra pawn. World champion is having an extra pawn. There is no need to discuss further. Otherwise, you, you, you can play castle. You can defend the pawn. But uh, it is all bad. How, how are you going to defend also? So it is bad. Next. Wang Hao. A, a very strong Chinese GM. The same setup he is doing. Avoiding that exchange of bishops or g5. But at the moment you can't castle. It, you can do like hand castle. The king can come. King f8, kg8 and king. Very 
वेल प्लेड ग्रिप ऑन सेंटर मेंटेन नाउ आइडिया इज टू ट्रॉप आइडिया इज टू ट्रॉप द पीस सो सेम थ्रेड मेंटेन Accepting the pawn. Suppose you take the pawn. Black's position opens up for better. For example, you take the pawn. Then here, this position is very strong because anyway the grip will come. The pieces are very passive. It will not be so good now position. So here he decided. Post. an idea we have seen in the game of botwinik mumar geller pilnik and i think anand and somebody so giving a pawn and seizing a central square now bishop d2 will be pass you knight c5 and excellent position so you comes here now theoretically this is okay you play some knight e2 f3 will come the bishop uh, rook f1 is gone anyway this is bad exchange up and there is a pawn is falling lost so kalsan regular use this setup and got a great success with this one more game of magnus carlson i am showing i already explained that on this capture d4 is good black is white is good so this way you cannot play d4 get into a bad position in that case double bishop for white black if you play exchange queen take take queen d4 i take black has bishop pair and excellent position no bad weakness same setup is going h5 is bet with g5 very nice there is lot of problem now you take the knight it is bad the b2 point passive position now there is a threat is giving g3 trying to trap the knight now what happens see your bishop is trapped if you take it he will play pawn into he will play pawn into and the bishop is trapped anyway so queen attack this is gone very bad position lost so a typical ideas i think more game i want to show you very interesting game so here white has won a pawn black has the center and bishop pair black has three points center pair of bishop and a3 weakness b k pawn so in return for the one pawn he has got good compensation this is you have to worry about a four all the time attack will come so 
Terus bye. The position of white is not great. There are a lot of weaknesses. S3 weakness, A4 weakness. The queen is not active. So, I would say black has a good game. But you, you can still further see for some more. Okay. White king is in not happy reference. So, I, I would like to leave this. Okay. So here in this position he says not rook date. Here, here he says rook into g6 was possible. This is rook date was bad move. This move was uncalled for because unexpected rook into g6 was coming. And rook check, you know, rook check and rook into b2, g2, g7 is coming. Now check is coming, and this is the problem. So a tactical sort. So a player should be vigilant here, not rook d8. He should have played here, maybe here, what he could have done here. I think maybe, maybe you can play Bishop here. This is one possibility. I don't want to move, I don't want the Bishop to come and stay passively. With both one and two are watching the bishop rook, so go away from him. It should be okay. So this setup is just fine. And finally, I want to go for uh, these two uh, variations. This is also very good played by Kasparov. The point is every time they don't play it and take it. Now here they don't mechanically take it. The castle. If you take, I told you already the setup is just fine. So instead of that, we will find what happened castle. Second setup. The idea to play rook e1, the bishop can retreat, then you can play c3, d4. This is one of the ideas. Now, why this immediate push is bad? In this case, the knight will come, and there is a problem on the pawn. So, this is not very wise to push immediately. So, c3. Now he is ready to push. There is some possibility black black may lose a pawn temporarily. Okay. Now there is some possibility that uh, he can keep putting pressure here on the e4 point. But you cannot give the bishop. There is a lot of problem. I want a weakness. You play a four, b three point will be weak. Very well played by Kasparov. Now there is some weakness is there, and the knight in center is giving him good counter. Good counter play. Now e five point. Thing I am amazed to see whenever I see Kasparov's games, all his moves are designed to destroy the opponent's center. So he chooses some variations where opponent has weaknesses and opponent center is the key focus. Plus, now pass pawn, restriction of knight. Already black position is clearly better. So, so this position, there are two type of position in this Rosoli move. I would say in this variation, D6 and Moscow, Moscow variation. This is less dangerous, 
with a harmful formula. Whereas BB5, BB, this is you have to be very careful. So on G6, castle, bishop G7, and now here one is castle and other is to play bishop into knight. Bishop into knight, pawn into we discussed. Now only I will discuss castle. For four or five games, we will see. To wind up this Rosso Lima. Black is good. Destroy the center. The only move or other. If you do not create any threat, then pawn into pawn is these are bad moves. Giving surrendering, then play bishop into with a clear good game. The pressure. So here. Pawn into. No tactics, no trick. Of course, this is a prophylactic move, but there is no pressure at the moment. Bishop is supported by rook, so there is no danger coming. Excellent, there is no weak point. So, only I will discuss deal with the opening. Black has an excellent position. Now, there is pressure on d4 point 1 2 3 1 2 3 pressure is there and this is fantastic but pieces are not coordinated another taras formula if you have four five move bande ho gaye right Black better. Bad pawn structure and uh, bad bishop, badly placed pieces. Few more positions. Bishop move. Initiative for black. Anyway, you have to surrender, so he keeps takes this. And this position not only bishop pair, but the knights are funnily placed. Knights are funny. This knight is stupidly placed, doing good, doing nothing. Want to regroup the knight? Only move. Very well played. Now, here, yeah, this is bad because of double attack. Now, knight, knight cannot move because rook is coming. Rook is coming for the... Some other threat I was noticing. What was it? So, here, where else you will go? Knight c3 loses. Knight c3 Rook b4 or knight d4, rook b4 is also winning. So he has to only play this. Not, not rook into, of course, that is bad. So simply move queen. Only move. And it should, it should be very good. Time. So these are the typical. Issues that you get and it is advantage. I will not go further. Let me show to two more games. This is also an excellent game. Now he is playing like a wing gambit. So I don't want. I don't want to give, give him activity. Greedy pawn into pawn. White will be very good. So this is excellent. 
equal material and block structure is better. The idea is to provoke the bishop to c2, so there is no pressure. Next, bb7. Everything is fine. So, you see, at the moment, I don't want the bishop to come. I don't want the bishop to come. So, he goes here, threatening BB3. I again go threatening knight. Now I give a threat of knight. Knight. Plus. Knight to F4 and D3. Goes to take with the rook. Now, bishop into pawn will lose the piece. You take knight f4 will pick up a piece. Not piece exactly. It is better because, yeah, piece only. Yeah, I will take it and e4 attack and knight e2 is there. One piece is gone. So you cannot take that pawn. Yes. One piece is gone. After queen exchange, there will be two threats. Not peace, but it is bad. It's a bad position. Okay. So, we have successfully uh, finished all anti sicilian lines. One more game. This is also an excellent, good game. That's why I saw Tromso on his guinea played in Tromso Olympiad. Somewhat like Sicilian C3 and you have already a good game. The idea F2. Idea on I am on F2. Only you have to capture like this. Now only move. A good position. Then return the piece now and the center is gone. White center is gone. No more good. So this is uh, game. I leave this uh, Rosoli. So all the anti-Sicilian lines have covered, and I am going to go show you Sicilian dragon or white today afternoon, and tomorrow I will go for uh, Nazgul. So we have time for one maybe middle game one game I will show. Emmanuel Lasker giving threat for 15 moves. Bara Pandra Mu, non stop threat with you. Maybe some game of one or two middle game theme. I will do it now. Not enough time. Maybe I can give an introduction to Dragon, but that also will need a lot of time. Hello, Devang Makwana. Hello, Vela. So, let us discuss some middle game themes. This 15 minutes. Berlin defense. Now the theoretical move is knight. And after that, bishop takes knight, pawn takes, pawn takes pawn. Knight is queen into queen takes. Then knight c3. White is little better. Marginal. Plus equal. The king side pawn majority is there. 
and better coordination. I doubt it is very big advantage, but it is fully playable for black. Now this is bad. This is bad. Now pawn into knight coming to this point. Now we need to now b7 knight d4. White is better. You can't play. You cannot play d5. A pawn c6. If you play c5, you are inviting the knight to king side. So and castle. Now it will allow rook d1. Now this is a threat here. Sorry, here. And the rook is ready to come, third rank for operation. So you will have four pieces for attack. Not very ideal thing for black. That's why the knight b7 is poorly placed. But I am showing you a game. 1896, you know, something like 125 years back. Tawaso Sal Pahile, theory itna develop nahi hua So we took it here, this move. No, 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 no. So, right. Bad move. This is a bad position. Now, as I told you, after ND4, rook D1, ND4 and rook D1, that is better. But he played a bad move here. B3. Please note, now non stop, 15 moves he gave him harassment. After this, this is useless. Bid. Now, ND4 is no more. Good. Now here he played free game. You need to unpass, otherwise the center pawns. One Guiko piano line, it pawns are rolling. The bishop is very good. You have to do unpass. If at all, white is wants anything. Threat. Now you count. Start counting threat. Threat. I want to play Bf6 at attacking the queen. So he stopped it. Once again, threat second time. So, threat hard. Threat four. Otherwise, you lose a piece. You move the queen, you lose a piece. Exchange. So, four, five, five. Now, f6, five, six. 7, knight attack, 8, f2 attack, 9, d2 attack, 10, fork threatened, again nd3, fork threatened, 11, 11th move, non-stop, 11 moves threat, 12, queen attack, d2 attack, 13, 14, h4, h4 threat, <laughs> oh, threat bachate, 15 threats. Kusto, kusto usko rahim karo. Pandra threat dega. Ab gaya. And now bishop check. And queen check se maro. Check ke saath maro. Not rook into rook. Queen check. Check. Non stop. Pandra satra threat dega. So, who will be alive? Lost. Wait, it will be a bad thing. Hello, Marth Godani. Kasparov said it is the best practice. Are you talking about that one? No. Kitna thread there. So I will show you now some other interesting middle game themes. I want to show this game. Uh, other day I said I will search it. I could not get it. I found it. The point is, Hisser himself was only Nasdorf player. He was playing only Sicilian Nasdorf. So he had a problem what to do. So he was playing Sozin attack and occasionally some odd lines. 
this is a sort of english attack keras attack now this nowadays the modern grandmaster plays fight so they don't allow this so this is the problem plus s3 s3 is no more poor. so because of this move h5 so here they played this d4 bad move unnecessary capture now e5 so what has happened he has created a noticeable and very important weakness prominent weakness at d5 square and this is also weak pawn a weak pawn and a weak square given opportunity at right time i will come and take this so that the square becomes very bad so he plays this up d5 clearly better of course sir you can win the pawn but you know d6 pawn will fall so four controls he cannot get d5 right as four control on d5 square the reason is i want to play nd5 and take but uh, this e4 pawn i don't want to engage the bishop i don't want to make his bishop pass so ready now nd5 next move and white pattern in those days you know modern grand masters did not play this move but in those days prophylactic move h4 is more aggressive move here. okay so anyway this is good safe and good very well played now we shall go to so that you take control, total control of d5 positionally it is lost positionally black is lost because you can see the difference good knight and bad bishop and the backward pawn and this weak square now he plays f4 with the idea next move f5 a bad move already position is bad i cannot say uh, there is no good move only so queen f5 active move you take the piece is lost queen into queen the piece is lost so the only move now white can win a pawn black cannot defend They, both queen and rook are tied down even if you play queen this is bad you will play rook c3 idea threat too much too bad rook c8 is not possible now so this is bad so he plays rook okay i move the queen threat only move want to exchange the queen so he says no exchange of queen now rook c7 is a threat rook c7 is a threat and rook c8 is bad knight b6 is coming if you play knight b6 will come so only move threat only move you cannot play if you play rook b7 knight f4 wins the piece knight f4 only winning so you can't play that move so only move only square for queen queen e5 rook d5 only square run it so the position is miserable now even in such heat fisher plays makes a simple move a3 so that no back rank i can operate freely without even thinking or calculating for tactics i don't need to calculate here after whatever you white will do white will do. Well, the position is hopeless, so he is trying to open a file. <coughs> This will lose very fast. Knight will return to knight d4, knight f5. So he plays bishop, ignoring that. 
There is pressure on F7 too much. Discover attack. Okay, other moves are losing. King has checked, then knight into and queen check. Take and check. This is prophylactic move. Already I am paid. Finish. Whatever you do, it is lost only now. So, the typical thing, a player should avoid making this kind of this kind of weaknesses. A player should avoid making this e5, e5 move. It is a crime, this sort of move. Now, I will show you similar weakness one more game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so here, okay, here uh, I would show you this game. I liked it. This is actually notes by Gari Bhai Kasparov. The notes is given by Gari Bhai Kasparov. The same d5 weakness. The, it comes same but roundabout way. White is better. Bishop pair and better center. F7 you better watch. So, white has got already an advantage. Now, restriction of minor piece. So g3, queen f4, maybe this is also a good move here. Yeah. Idea bishop e3 and double the rook. Stopping knight h4, bishop d3, double the rook. So he played queen. Idea, now the pressure, because of bishop here, the pressure will come here. So, okay. Now he wants to bring the other rook. So, take. Now we got the same setup, a backward pawn and a weak square. So white has got a fantastic control. That means, imagine the queen is not on the board, then he is lost. But before exchanging queen, he suggests touch this queen. But tactically, he wants to weaken the position bad. Why this move? Main threat is this. But actually, I want to exchange the queen at this point by forcing. So, only move. Now, bishop. The point is, ensure the bishop controls the rook cannot come here now. Next, I want to hit this. Next, I want to come here. I want to come here. I want to exchange the knight and come. Bishop into. Queen into will lose. Now, even though double pawn. I will get rid of the queen. Then he cannot defend the weaknesses. So Smyslov was a great master. One of the greatest endgame player. History me agar panch endgame player lenge to Smyslov. Akiba Rubinstein. Anatoly Karpo. Vasily Smyslov. I would put Victor Korchnoy also. These are one of the greatest endgame players. And of course, of course, now Magnus Carlsen is there. You, I would put him as number one or number two. So, this is uh, now hopeless position. Queen exchange and the one pawn gone. Yeah. So, friends, thank you very much for being with me. So, we have completed uh, the Senti Sicilian part two. Ogea Abhi. Afternoon, I will show you how to play against Sicilian Dragon and I will focus only on Yugoslav attack. Knight f3, d6. Now, knight f6, knight c3, g6. Now, there are a lot of side lines. Now, there are some lines with uh, b2 castle, then s3 and knight d5. All this thing is there. I will not uh, go for side variations. So, you only Yugoslav attack, I will discuss will be able to complete me if it is not there i will do some tomorrow so see you at 230 for the sicilian dragon white side so of course bye
miss you again yeah wolf anderson i forgot to mention wolf anderson another great genius and currently coach of argentina team for many years